So hello everyone, my name is Shuo and I'm the data scientist on new drivers and the trip experience at Uber. Today I will be presenting some work I've done with a new drivers team, which will cover the first two stages of our product development cycle. So we know that driving with Uber is hard and it's even more so if you are new to it. So when partners first start driving with us, um, other than feeling really excited, they have a lot of questions and concerns in their mind. Some of those concerns are emotional, while the others are more about how Uber itself works. So in order to create experiences that can ensure our new drivers feel prepared and supported, we start by identifying all those important needs and pain points new drivers have. So this identify stage is typically driven by qualitative research. Then after all our surveys and interviews, we will come up with a long comprehensive list of issues that we believe matter to new drivers. So on the list, we have, for example, earnings, communications, support, rating, and all of them come along with compelling quotes and like great stories. So how can we tell which factors are actually the most important? This is where data science comes in. So at this quantify and synthesize stage, um, we first conduct correlation analysis to find a subset of factors that actually correlate with driver engagement and retention. And then we fit a statistical model, for example, a random forest, to evaluate the relative importance of all those key factors. Then after that, with the key short list in hand, the product team will get together and brainstorm new ideas. Then lastly, we will start to build prototypes and test out our ideas through rapid experimentation. And I will elaborate on this stage a little bit with a real example. This is pick hours. Uh, this is a feature that my team decided to build and test. So during the problem identification and the quantification stage, we realized that one of the biggest uh, pain points for new drivers is that they don't know when are the best time to drive. So as a result, their early experience might be suboptimal and then they may end up earning less in their first few outings. So in order to address this, the new drivers team designed this feature, Pick Hours. It informs new drivers about the best hours to drive and it also allowed them to set up reminders for themselves. So when testing this feature, we broke it down into small testable components and conducted several experiments and user studies in parallel in order to move as fast as we can. For example, we uh, conducted a very quick A-B test to see whether we should show the estimated earnings to our drivers or not. And also right now, we're testing different definitions of optimal hours. So for example, people might think most writer requests are the best or hours where it can earn the most or the better, but we don't know. So we are testing this out and see how different drivers are reacting to it. Going forward, we aspire to build customized onboarding experience that works for everybody. It used to be the case that when new drivers open the app for the first time, they will see the same feed as it's shown on the screen um, on the left. So as you can see, there's a lot of content there and it can be a little bit overwhelming. As data scientists, we will keep researching new drivers' motivations and needs, as well as effective ways to group them so that we can customize your experience. And also, as you can imagine, new drivers coming from area where um, pool is very popular will want to learn about pool early on as compared to drivers coming from areas where pool is not as common. So we will keep up the good work to identify the best time and means to introduce concepts to new drivers and tailor the comms to surface interesting content to new drivers at the appropriate time. So with this, I will hand it over to JR, who will talk about uh, Uber Pool feature.